Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elizabeth, the maker behind Angel's Cottage. And you can find me on Instagram at Angel's Cottage. You can find me on Ravelry as Arcania. And you can find me on Etsy as Angel's Cottage Shop. Um, this is officially podcast five. <laughs> if I'm wrong, I'm just going to stop saying that. <laughs> but, um, it's only been, it's actually been less than a month since I reported last. Uh, it's March, I believe. Oh yeah, it's Pi Day, March 14th. Um, and I mean, I have quite a bit, so let's get into it. Um, we'll start with whips. So my first one is this sock or these socks. And um, they look done, but they just need the heel. So I need to, I'm doing an afterthought heel on these. I just need to cut them in and, and get them in here. And then blocked. And then this will be squared away. So need to get going on that. And then I have this one. Oops. It's another sock with oh, this game well behind me. Okay. And this is in a similar belt, but this is only the first one out of two. So I need to hold on. There we go. I need to finish the toe and then cut in the heel. But this is oh the first one. This one is a plain vanilla sock. And then the yarn is Paisley Knits Co. in Daybreak. She did a colorway for Shop the Mercery, like year socks, and this is that one um, last year. And then this, this is um, the Hearth socks by Dana Ray makes. Um, and then this is Sorella's. I believe in people socks that I can't remember what this colorway was. Tom, I can't remember, but um, this is that, and both of these are for my husband. So um, I think they're both largest is what I'm trying to get at here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, okay, and then the next one is one. Um, this is the Sophie Scarf by Petite Knits. Oh, hold on. And I'm over halfway. Um, yeah, I started this yesterday and I just hyper fixated on it. And, um, this, this is, a. Uh, Marilla's Brooch by Woolberry, and it's DK weight, so it's 100% um, superwash merino. And yeah, uh, I'd like it if it was done today, but I, I just don't know. I never know. So that's that. My other whip is one that will probably be on the podcast for a bit because it's a blanket, obviously, and then um. It's a scrappy blanket, so if I end up running out of scraps, I have to wait till I get more, i.e. finished projects. But um, a little bit of backstory on this. I obviously was inspired by Nitty Natty, again, who is doing the Summer Fade Hexi Blanket by Mallory Crawl, or Nada Crawl Crochet, I think is her Instagram handle. But here's the thing, this might look like that, but it's not. I, she does a sunburst hexi, uh, he hexagon in her uh, summer fade hexagon blanket pattern. And I was looking at it and while well, it looks nice, it wasn't my cup of tea and I wanted something else. And she didn't have quite what I was looking for and I kind of looked all over the internet and I really didn't see what I was looking for 
So I just kind of made my own uh, pattern here for this. Get this a little bit closer. And it's like puff, puff stitch all around, and then obviously like the edges double double crochet. But here's the blanket I'm on. The fourth ring, I guess you could say, um, of this blanket. I only need to close it up right here, and then I'll be on the fifth one. But these are all scraps, or some of these are minis, like these ones are minis that I got in an advent for my husband. Um, and I wasn't really sure what to do with it, but um, yeah, I have a lot of hexagons already made that I need to add into this and just keep going. But um, basically what I'll do, and it's somewhat random in the placement. I'm trying obviously not to place like um, similar colors like for example this one and this one are the same but see how they're like way across from each other i'm trying uh, not to put them like on top of each other or too close just to kind of spread out the colors and make it a little bit more interesting but there's no real plan to it um so basically what i'll do is i'll spend the day making hexagons and then like the next day I'll spend the day adding them in because obviously this is a join as you go um, kind of thing. And I'm doing it in rings because uh, I think that there's several different ways to add hexes as you go. Um, but this one just made the most sense to me. And that way I can see how big it's going to be as I'm like making it and not have to try and guess how big I want it to be based off of well math for one thing but um yeah this is my little scrappy hexagon blanket with my own pattern and um I have no intention of releasing the pattern just because uh even though I couldn't find it out there on the internet, I'm sure it probably exists. And I don't want to possibly take someone's work for my own, even though it took me a couple days, I think, to actually figure out exactly how I wanted to do this. And this is, I forgot to mention, this is DK weight. So a lot of these are fingering weight. There are some that are DK weight, but they're fingering weight how double to get DK weight. Um, I thought that would be a nice weight of a blanket for my husband, and it's really funny because if I'm, excuse me, working on it and he's near me, he um, has a tendency to be under it while I'm either making the hexes or adding them in. It's really funny, and he, he likes it so far, so that's good. Um, and... That is my current works in progress. I have other other ones that are hibernating, but we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> so, um, finished objects. And this one's going to be a little different because um, I've been working on a lot of stuff for the shop. And so, I'm going to be showcasing those. Um, but the first one is not shop related. And it's the only pair of socks I finished for my husband last month. So these are um, vanilla socks in Constellation and then Zodiac. And this is by Fantasy Fiber Yarn Co. And this was her um, Coven Club that she did last year. It's actually one of my favorite colors she's ever made. And you'll probably hear me say that every time I ever use this color. So I think I said the same thing about the shadow singer shawl because it was in the same colorway. Um, but that is my um, only knitted finished object, actually. And then all the stuff that I have for the shop, I'm counting them as finished objects because obviously like it's something that I made 
and finished. So let me grab those. So the first thing I need for the shop is this cute little chicken. And um, it's made with velvet. And I love it. She's so cute and squishy. Um, so that is a shop item that I finished. And then I also made this little cow. That is also really squishy. And I love that. And then I made, I should say I finished. This was a work in progress for a bit there, but I finished this chunky gingerbread man. And I finished his buddy, Velvet Chunky Gingerbread Man, who is so soft and huggable. And then I made, this is going to be hard. I made these gummy bears that are so soft and squishy, but let me see. Yeah, this is going to have to be in like bunches here. Case. So, And they're so cute and so very soft. Um, and then I also made, this was kind of a sneak peek because uh, the gummy bears, the gingerbread men, the chicken and the cow are listed. Um, and maybe these will be listed by the time I get this video up, we'll see. But um, I also made this little star. And this, little duck um, and those ones aren't listed yet but they might be by the time this goes up um, <clears throat> I also made a couple yarn balls for the shop I have one here so I'll show it to you this is the llama bowl it's got things on either side and it's an open bowl and it has little feet so it's pretty sturdy and then just to show this isn't quite a full cake but it's not very much used either like how much it can hold um, so these are this, this is listed in the shop I have the display picture is this but it also comes in um, white, black, and gray and I'm working on getting samples so that people can kind of see that. Um, and then I'll insert, I think, a video clip here. <clears throat> I have um, a skull yarn bowl that I believe I've shown on here before, but I'm going to show it again. And these are also listed in the shop. And the same thing, it's listed in that ombre green black, but it's also available in white, gray, and black. Um, and those are on a four-week turnaround currently. Um, so obviously it takes time to make them. And then, yeah, the rest of these are ready to ship, obviously, the ones that are listed. Um, and I also have some stitch markers that are ready to ship. And those I thought would be kind of hard to showcase here. So I'll insert pictures or videos while I talk about them here. And basically, I have clouds of different colors, a couple of stars of different colors, some hearts that are kind of um, 
how would you call that? Like, it's not like a, a traditional heart. It's kind of like, to me, it's like a floating heart because of the way that it sits on the stitch marker. And then um, I have some moons as well. And these are all listed in the shop. They come in a half set, which is a set of three, or a full set, which is a set of six. Um, but yeah, those are, I believe, all of my finished objects. So let me put those away. Now, it's acquisitions. And obviously, it's been over a month. No, oh, no, it's been almost like just a month. I think in two days it would have been a month um, since my last pod. And this is going to seem like a lot, as I always say. But some of this was pre-ordered in like January, and it came between last pod and now. So um, we'll start with Yarnable, like we always do. So um, Yarnable is one of my monthly subscriptions. Um, I get the skein and a half, and they have several different options, but I get it in fingering weight. And the extras for this month, and one of them I can't show because I left it downstairs, so sorry. But it was stitch markers by either a needle runs through it or um, look, I'll just put it up here. I can't remember the name right now. It's escaping me. I'm so sorry. But it basically was two stitch markers that said right side, wrong side, so that when you're knitting, a perfect example would be uh, my Sophie shawl. Even though I don't think there's a right side, wrong side when you wear it, this is the right side and this is the wrong side. That's why I have this stitch marker here so that I can kind of keep track of which side I'm working on. And the reason I say it probably doesn't really have a right or a wrong side in the end is because it's garter stitch on both sides. But um, it is notated in the pattern a right side and a wrong side, so that's why I put a stitch marker there. Um, but it came with a button that says, Go away, I'm knitting. And then it came with a shampoo bar uh, made by, I think it's called the Natural Spa. And this is a rose lavender grapefruit shampoo bar. I haven't tried it. I don't know if I will because the, um, I'll have to look at the ingredients and kind of figure it out, which they're all listed here. So that's great. Um, but the last shampoo bar that I used, oh, I cannot remember the name of it, but it wrecked my hair. Like, um, it wasn't, at first I thought it was the way I was using it, but I think it was because it had, um, like, rice proteins, like, rice water stuff in it, and that's not for all hair types, and I didn't know that, and it really damaged my hair, um, which made me sad, so <laughs> I'll have to look into that before I use it. But um, the yarn, this is this month's colorway, and it's Here We Grow Again. I don't know if you can see it, but there's speckles. And then my um, little half a skein one is called Buttercup. So that was yarnable. And then uh, the next one that I get that um, I'm a subscriber to is Fantasy Fiber Yarn Co's Daddy Club. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this was for the month of February. So the theme for February was uh, Dean Winchester. And so this is Daddy Dean, and this is Idget, based off of Bobby Singer.
And then she gave a stitch marker that I believe is the men of letters symbol. But yeah, this is so pretty. And then I think that's it. I, I did get my Fangirl Fibers Disney Attraction colorway in, but I already put it away. I didn't bring it up here for some reason, and I didn't feel like digging it out. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but so now, pre-orders. So, Coast to Coast did a um, pre-order, I think it was in January, um, and some of her, uh, some of her colorways, uh, from her fantasy coffee house, at Countdown to New Year's that she had, were in it, and, um, so I got some of those, so this is a sock set called the usual this is the usual and then this is currents um and then with the other minis i had planned things called echo chamber um project and basically it's like a fade and i needed i think I really hope this is enough. Uh, two of these, and this is called What in the Eight Hells is Coffee? And these are on her classic sock base, which is 80% um, superwash merino, 20% nylon, 2 ply. And so, um, if I can find it, I'll insert a picture up here of kind of what the color layout is going to be for this project. And if I can't find it, You'll have to wait until I start it. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but that was that pre-order. And then um, another one that came in that is also based on Advents, or an Advent that I got last year. And I am going to make a Northeasterly blanket with this, the knit version, because there's a knit and crochet version. Um, but I got... Shaded Soul, which has, if you can see it, the tiniest little speckles in there. And then I got Dreams Are Born. Which, same thing here, because there's like speckles in it. And then I got Twilight Tales. And again, if I can find it, I'll put a picture of the, um, maybe like the whole advent. Um, so you can kind of get an idea it, of like what it looks like and why I chose these ones for Northeasterly because I'm going to, a lot of the colors in the advent are darker. And I'm going to alternate them, obviously, um, lights and darks and try and balance some of the colors that are in there. But um, those, oh, one more pre-order. Um, Montana Crochet did an update, I think it was in January, for, uh, what did she call it? Let me see. Fauna. Fauna collection, and um, I really couldn't decide on what I wanted, and so I got the minis, and once they showed up, I was obviously sad I didn't get the colors that I wanted, because I, I'm trying to be more intentional about what I buy and have projects for them, so that when they show up, I can store them, obviously, and um so I bought the minis, and I think they might end up being a blanket. We'll see. But these are them, and I hope you can see it through the glare. But um, these are all the colors that she did in the Fauna collection. 
and honestly, like it's so beautiful. Um, I have a couple of other mini sets from her that might go with that. Um, we'll see. We'll see what that becomes. But um, next up is the D stash colorway. I mean, uh, hold on. Two colors I got from uh, the D stash group that I'm in on Discord, and they're both from Cornbread and Honey. And one is called Holiday Elegant. And the other is called Your Dark My Light. Um, and then this is 75% superwash mirror, 25% nylon fingering weight. And then the next one, this was uh, not D-Stash, it was an in-stock, a small in-stock update that Fantasy Fiber Yarn Co. had. And it was a collaboration that she did with, I think it's Northwoods. I'll put it up here. I'll put it up here. Um, but she's a sock designer and she designed uh, three different socks to go with these sock sets. So the first one is Summer Storm and Squall. And these are on her Enemies to Lovers 85% uh, Superwash Merino, 15% Nylon. And of course, you know, I gotta show you the speckles. And then this one is Downpour and Drizzle, same base. She gave uh, people some stitch markers, which I thought was really nice. A little thunderstorm, I mean a lightning bolt. And then Tempest and Cumulonimbus. Raging Tempest and Cumulonimbus, sorry. And in that same vein, um, I bought two skeins of Cumulonimbus in uh, her Enemy Celebrity's DK weight, which is basically the same, 85% superwash right now, 15% nylon. Um, it's just DK weight. And my original intentions when I got this was a Sophie shawl. These are obviously going to be socks. Um, and I have no plans for the cornbread and honey. I'm trying, you guys, I'm trying. And then this is Drizzle in DK also. This, uh, I had planned on making a Sophie scarf with, and I still plan on that. Um, but then I also got this, which was a Twilight extra, of, um, when she did her Twilight collaboration in the fall of last year she had some extras and she listed them and i after seeing my husband's saint marcus's day which is the colorway that this is and the bound my magic in the other two colors that i got i had to go back for this one i couldn't leave it um hopefully the stelina is showing but it's um 80 percent Superwash Merino, 15% nylon, 5% gold Stelina. And it's beautiful. And I had no intention for this, but when I was making the Sophie scarf, I was like, I could hold this double and make a Sophie scarf. So. I went from socks to muscle burrows to Sophie scarves <laughs> but we'll see I'm, I'm pretty sure that this one is going to become a Sophie scarf but um and I'm pretty sure this one is too but it might not 
Am I not? Am I become something else? Um, but I think that is it for acquisition. So for reading, listening and watching. I'm not watching anything really. I'm still watching his line. Um, and we're, we're still working on finishing Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's it for show-wise. Movie-wise, I started Jurassic Park in a Jurassic World, and then I think next week we're going to watch Dominion because I haven't seen that one yet. And then... I randomly was in the mood to watch the newer Star Wars ones, so I was watching The Force Awakens and those ones. So what is it like, The Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker or something like that? I was watching those. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Listening, I finished The Spare which I thought was really good. And then I started listening to um, Friends, Lovers, and the Great Big Terrible Thing by Matthew Perry, um, which has been hard, but also really interesting. Um, if you don't know, I'm a big Friends fan, and he passed away last October. And... Um, he touched my life in a significant way through the character of Chandler. And I'm very grateful for that. And so it's a little bit sad to be reading it now or listening to it now. But um, I am grateful that I do get to do that. And it's actually him narrating it. So that's kind of interesting. Um, and then... I'm, the only thing I'm reading right now, I finished Crescent City 3, like last week on Saturday. <laughs> it took me a long time. Um, what is that? House of Flame and Shadow? Shadow and Flame? Um... And I think at about 80%, that's when the book finally gripped me. Um, but yeah, not really what I was expecting, but kind of interesting at the same time. And then I started The House Switch 2 by Della Mott. You might remember I was reading the first one. Well, now I'm reading, there's three, I think, in the series, and now I'm reading the second one. Um, and I'm not very far into that, like I think 10 or 15 percent, but it's it's pretty interesting because I'm kind of curious how it's all gonna work out. So, um, yeah. Oh wait, 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 wait! I got stitch markers. Um, that I totally forgot about. They're sitting right here staring at me. Um, I ordered these stitch markers. Ah, hold on, they're falling. Okay, I ordered these stitch markers from Tiddly Bakes. Um, I, I, I love all the stitch markers I get from her, but um, I've been wanting this one for a while, and since I knew Pi Day was coming up, and ironically, I checked the mail today and they were there, but I got this blueberry pie. This little birthday cake macaron. And this little let's see, rainbow pot of gold. And then the bottom is the glittery green and gold cupcakes dish marker. And I know that was totally out of order. And I don't think editing me is going to be able to fix that. So I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, 
wow, that's that's it. That's what I've been working on. That's what I've been doing. Um, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you're not already. And make sure to hit the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload a new video. And I hope that you have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.